hi and welcome to another pattern making tutorial i guess you already know from the title today i will be showing you how to draft a basic trouser pattern but with the basic you can go extra what that means is you can achieve different styles of trouser with this pattern and you would need the following measurement to draft this pattern and here are some pictures to guide you on how to take the measurement you also need the following tools to draft your pattern paper, rulers, pencil, measuring tape, and of course you need your measurements. So I went ahead to write out my measurement and I also divided the ones that needed to be divided in half and quarter. Now let's dive into the pattern drafting. Please note all measurements are in centimeters and I'll be using numbers to label the lines and I'll be going from like 0 to 1, 2 to 3 and so on. So the first thing I'll do is to drop down 5 cm from the top of the paper and I'll draw a straight line across using my ruler. And once this is done, the next thing will be to divide the paper into two equal half and the midpoint at the top becomes point zero that is where the measurements will be starting from Now I'll write out point zero at the middle from where the two lines meet and this is where we are starting from. So zero to one is body rise minus five cm. My body rise is 30 cm, 30 cm minus five, that's 25 cm. So I'll mark 25 cm downward and I'll draw a straight line across using my ruler and I'll label the line as one. Now we have line 0 and line 1. Next is 1 to 2. 1 to 2 is 4 or 5 cm above line 1. So if you are from size 6 to 14, you go up 4 cm above line 1. And if you are from size 16 to 24, you go up 5 cm above line 1. So for me, I am size 8, so I'll go up 4 cm and I'll draw a straight line across and I'll label the line as two next zero to three is trouser length so from your waist to your desired length whatever that is you measure it from zero downward and that point becomes three so for me it's 100 cm from zero so i'm just measuring 100 cm i'll draw a straight line across and i'll label the line as three Next, 1 to 4 is after measurement 1 to 3 minus 5 cm. So whatever you have from 1 to 3, you want to divide it by 2 and then subtract 5 cm. So I'm just checking what I have from 1 to 3 and I'll divide it by 2 and I'll take out 5 cm and then I'll draw a straight line across and that point becomes point 0.4. Next, 1 to 5 is 1 12 hips measurement. 
and square up to six on the hip line and seven on the waistline so whatever your hips measurement is you divide it by 12 and then mark one part of it to the left just like i'm doing and repeat the measurement on the hip line and on the waistline then connect the point using a ruler so i'll draw a straight line upward and i'll label the point as five six on the hips line and seven on the waist line next six to eight is quarter hips measurement minus 0 0.5 cm so whatever your hips measurement is you divide it by four and you minus 0 0.5 cm from it so for me my hips measurement is 98 98 divided by 4 that's 24.5 minus 0 0.5 that gives me 24 so from point 0.6 i'll measure 24 cm to the right and that becomes point 0.8 next five to nine is one sixteenth hips measurement minus 0 0.5 cm so as usual whatever your hips measurement is you divide it by 16 and minus 0 0.5 cm so for me 98 divided by 16 is 6.125 minus 0 0.5 that gives me 5.625 so i can approximate it to 5.7 so it depends on you and i'll take the measurement from 5 to the left and that point becomes 9 next 7 to 10 is 2 cm to the right so from 7 i'll mark 2 cm to the right and that becomes point 10 and next is to join 10 to 6 and 6 to 9 with a curve touching a point at point 5 so if you are from size 6 to 14 from point 5 you measure 3.25 cm out at angle 45 degrees and if you are from size 16 to 25 from point 5 you measure 3.5 cm out so for me i'm size 8 from point 5 i'll measure 3. 25 cm and i'll just mark that will serve as a guide to draw the front crotch line and now i'm just placing my curve so i'll first connect 10 to 6 and then connect 6 to 9 because sometimes you can't really connect it at once especially if you want to follow the the 3.5 or 3.25 cm you took out so I'll first of all connect to 6 and from 6 I'll connect to 9. next 10 to 11 is quarter waist measurement so whatever your waist measurement is you want to divide it by four the quarter of my waist measurement is 18.5 so i'll mark it to the right and that becomes point 11. next 3 to 12 is quarter trouser bottom width so a standard trouser bottom width is 34 cm but feel free to work with whatever width you want for me i'll be working with 34 34 divided by 4 is 8.5 so from point 3 i'll mark 8.5 to the right and that becomes point 12 and next is from is 4 to 13 so 4 to 13 is quarter knee measurement my knee measurement is 40 quarter is 10 so from 4 i'll mark 10 to the right and that becomes point 13 and next is to draw the side seam to draw the side seam i'll be connecting 11 to 8 8 to 13 and 13 to 12 and now i'll come out by 0 0.25 at point Eight. this is to add ease to the hip measurement and i'll grab my french curve and connect 11 to 8 just like this please don't use the very curvy part unless you have a shape of a wine glass if you use the very curvy part the measurement is going to be too big on the hip so just do what i am doing and now i'll connect 8 to 13 with a broken line and i'll connect 13 to 12 with a straight line using my ruler mm -hmm. 
now i'll take my tape and measure from 8 to 13 and then i'll find the midpoint between the measurement and i'll come in on the midpoint by 0.5 cm and i'll connect using my french curve from the hip to the 0.5 cm i took in and then i'll flip the curve over to the other side and connect from the 0.5 to point 13. Now I'm just blending that point so we don't have any sharp edges. So make sure to do the same, blend the line so you have like a smooth line running through. And now is to get 3 to 14. 3 to 14 is the same as 3 to 12, so which is the quarter trouser bottom width. So for me is 8.5. So from 3, I'll take 8.5 to the left and next is 4 to 15 which is the same as 4 to 13 so for me it's 10 to the left and now it's time to draw the in seam so to do that i'll be connecting 9 to 15 with a broken line and 15 to 14 with a straight line using my ruler And now I'll take my tape to measure what I have from 9 to 15, find the midpoint and go in by 0.75 cm. And I'll grab my French curve and connect just like I did on the side seam, curve facing left, connect from 9 to the 0.75 point and from the, I'll flip the curve over to connect from the 0.75 point to point. 15 and that is it for the front so for the back the front and back will be on the same pattern once i am done with everything you can then trace one of the pattern out so for the back i'll be using a red marker so you can see the difference between the front and the back line Now for the back, 5 to 16 is quarter the measurement 1 to 5. So I'll check what I have from 1 to 5 and I'll divide it by 4. And for me is 1.40. So I'm going to use 1.5. So from point 5, I'll measure to the right 1.5 and mark. And that point becomes point 16 and i'll square up to 17 on the hip line and 18 on the waist line so i'm just repeating the same measurement on the hips and i'll repeat it on the waist and i'll draw a straight line upward next 16 to 19 is after measurement 16 to 18 so i'll check what i have from 16 to 19 and divide the measurement into two and that point becomes 19. Next 18 to 20 is 2 cm to the right so I'll mark 2 cm and that becomes 20 and 20 to 21 is 2 cm upward but if you are on the wider hip side the 2 cm upward can start from 2.5 and go all, all the way to 3.5 depending on how wide your hips are and next 21 to 22 is quarter waist measurements plus 1.5 cm so from 21 i'll measure the quarter of my waist measurement plus 1.5 cm and that point becomes point 22 and i'll connect 21 to 22 using my ruler just like this next 9 to 23 is half the measurement 5 to 9 so i'll check what i have from 5 to 9 and divide the measurement by 2 and t 
take the measurement to the left and that point becomes point 0.23 and 23 to 24 is 0 0.5 cm downward from 23 next is to connect 21 to 19 and 19 to 24 with a curve touching a point at point 16 so like we did on the front pattern from size 6 to 14 you measure 4.5 cm out from point 16 at angle 45 degree and from size 16 to 24 you measure 4.75 cm out from point 16 and connect using your curve from 21 to 19 and 19 to 24 passing through the 4.5 cm you took out from point 16. And that is the back crotch line. Next, 17 to 25 is quarter hip measurement plus 1.5 cm. So my quarter hips measurement is 24.5 plus 1.5 that gives me 26 cm so i'll take 26 cm to the right and that becomes 0.25 and next 12 to 26 is 1 cm to the right and 13 to 27 is 1 cm to the right now it's time to draw the back side same so i'll be connecting 22 to 25 25 to 27 and 27 to 26 so at point 25 i'll come out by 0 0.5 cm this is to add ease to the hips and i'll connect 22 to 25 using my french curve and 25 to 27 with a broken line and 27 to 26 with a straight line using my Ruler. and then i'll find the midpoint from 25 to 27 and at the midpoint i'll come in by 0 0.75 cm and then i'll grab my french curve connect from 25 to the 0 0.75 cm and then flip the curve to the other side to connect from the 0 0.75 cm to 0.27 next 14 to 28 is 1 cm to the left so i'll mark 1 cm from 14 and i'll label the point as 28 and next 15 to 29 is 1 cm to the left so i'll repeat the same thing label the point as 29 and next will be to draw the inside leg same so i'll be connecting 24 to 29 with a broken line and 29 to 28 with a straight line and i'll find the midpoint from 24 to 29 and at the midpoint i'll come in i'll go in by 1 cm i'll grab my french curve connect from 24 to the 1 cm flip the curve and connect from the 1 cm to 29 Next is to find the midpoint from 21 to 22, which is the back waistline, and the midpoint becomes point 30, and that is the dart line. And I'll be measuring my dart width of 0 0.75 on both sides of the line, and the length of the dart can go from 10 to 14 cm. So I'll be using 12 cm as my dart length and this is it for the back pattern please if you haven't subscribed yet i think this is the right time to do so 
click on the subscriber button is just in front of you and give this video a thumbs up that will really encourage me to film more video a lot of people just watch without encouraging the creator so please don't forget to click on the subscriber button give this video a thumbs up and um one more bonus if you want to make a trouser just like the picture i have on all you have to do is just connect from the hip point down to the m line on both the front and back pattern and if you want to do like a flare shape from the knee like you can do a whole lot with this pattern so make sure to you know make sure to draft one for you and have it as a block you can always trace out from it and you know derive to whatever style you want to achieve but for today this is where we are going to be stopping maybe next time i'll take you on how to draft like how to go from the basic to a different style of trouser so now i'm just checking my crotch line on both the front and back and i'll compare it to my measurements to see if it's aligned so for me it works really well but if i want to make like a very free trouser like joggers i would want to add to the crush so because you want it to be a bit loose on that part so to do that aside adding your band measurement if the crush is still not long enough all you need to do is just cut through from the from the hip line and add another paper to extend the crush and that is it for a basic trouser block thank you so much for watching i'll see you on my next video bye